President Biden convened his national security team in the Situation Room as Israel faces threats of retaliation, not only from Iran, but from Hezbollah in Lebanon after a series of strikes this past week. The recent escalation began on July 27th when a rocket attack hit Israel's Golan Heights, killing 12 children. Israel blaming this attack on the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah, based out of Lebanon. Three days later, on July 30th, Israel responded, launching a strike in Beirut, which killed Hezbollah's most senior military commander. Then, another strike on July 31st in Iran's capital city of Tehran. Hamas's political leader, Ismail Haniya, was killed in what Hamas called a grave escalation. On Monday, the head of Iran's Revolutionary Guard saying that Israel was, quote, digging its own grave, promising a response. We are at a critical moment for the region. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller saying that they're now urging Americans in Lebanon to leave the country. As fears of an expanded conflict grow, many airlines are pulling their flights, causing delays and cancellations at Beirut's international airport. Escalation is in no one's interest. It's not in the interest of any one country. It's not in the interest of the region. And it's certainly not in the interest of the millions of civilians who just want to live their lives free from violence and conflict. But as they push for diplomacy, the U.S. is also boosting its military presence. The Department of Defense sending additional forces to the region over the weekend. President Biden also spoke on the phone with the King of Jordan on Monday. Over the weekend, Jordan's top diplomat was sent on a rare trip to Iran, the first in 20 years, as they try and keep this crisis from spiraling out of control. Reporting here at the White House, this is Evan Kozlov. Spectrum News.